You're gonna drag that? All right, somebody want to know if my tire is on there correctly? Here's the direction of rotation. So yes, this is how the tire is made. Okay, we're working on the rear shock right now. We're actually working on the rear fender. So we have to make our shock not work. This shock doesn't work, right? And the other one went fell off. Okay, so now it's ready to drop down. We're gonna test out the kickstand while we're at it? Yeah. Okay. Did you pull out this piece of material out of here yet? I did. Okay, good deal. Okay, so now, now you gotta pull out a block or two. Which one comes out easy? The front one, I guess? Nope. What about the back ones? Nope. None of them come out easy? No. Uh, that means you're gonna have to lift it up. Wish I lift it and just... Now, hold on, I wanna get a shot of what you're trying to do. Okay, what are you trying to lift up? I'm not going to do it. You're trying to lift up the front of the bike, Yeah, right? which, which side of the bike should I You realize that the front of the bike is going to stay up in the air and the back is going to fall, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so that's not going to work. Okay, why don't you push the bike that way? Mm -hmm. Right here, look, look. Where the kick's down. There. And then pull out one of those blocks. Whichever one comes out. One's going to come out easier than the other. There you go. Okay. You see those two right there? Get them out of there. What? Those two there? Which two? These two? Yeah. Oh. Don't worry about the bike, it ain't going anywhere. It would have already fallen down if it was going to. Okay. Put those on the floor, but not on your feet. You can't tell me what to do. I could. I'll do whatever I want. Whether, whether you listen or not, that's totally different. Okay, now let's get these out of the way so I don't walk into them. Okay. Now what? And now you bring on the other half of the bike. So you just put, do the yeah. same thing, press it forward and lift? Well, you can make it easy on yourself. You can go find the lift. Is there a lift laying over there? No. Is there one over here? Where's the lift at? There should be a lift around here somewhere. Oh, it's on the bike. Yeah. Hey, why don't you use that one? It looks available. Did you? Yeah, I'd go on the other side, though. First thing I do is get all the crap out from underneath the bike. There you go. I cleared it out of the way. I do I lower it? See, drum brakes rotate nicely, see. It doesn't lower if you... Huh? What? Is, this, is there a, something to press to get it to lower? No? Yeah. Yeah, it's that thing, that's that thing right there. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You hit the right button. He figured it out. Yeah. Did you go to school? What? Did you go to school for bike mechanics? I'm in school right now. You're in no, school? Bike mechanics. Oh, okay. You know, they want to know. They want to know if I'm... Now they want to know actually what your job is. First they want to know if you had a job. Now they actually want to know what you do. Really? I think people want to know too damn much. Yeah. The internet's really fucking... They're picky, man. And you had some money, but then you paid me some, so now you're broke, right? Yeah, there we go. Now I don't have any money. I'm all out of money. Yeah. What was it, like 20 bucks I gave you? I think it was 35 50 but yeah. Okay, don't trip on all that junk on the floor over there. Yeah. Okay, now you know how to use that tool? I think so. Okay. You already left half the tool over there where you didn't need it. So you got to get help now. See, that's why you came here to get help, right? Yeah. Now, don't steal my drag bike. You can look at it. You can look at it. You can't take it. You have to figure out how to use that tool yet? Which tool? The one you're using. This one? Yeah. There's two tools here, right? Why don't you slide all the way to the back of the brain where it's going to be needed? Like here? Yeah, all the way back. Okay. Now, remember, the kickstand has to come up, so don't put it all the way to the inside. So. Right there, yeah. Right up until you hit those. Okay. But the kickstand has to come up, so don't make it too far over. Your stick is fly this side like six inches too far, so pull it out what? a little bit. Pull it out a little bit. Like this? Yeah, keep going. There you go. About there. You on the frame now? Yep, you're on the frame. Is that hard to turn right now? Yeah. Oh, well, slow down, slow down. Okay, there's something wrong with the lift right now. Somebody screwed it up. Shouldn't have to be hard. Somebody's fucked up my lift. Or something's coming apart. This is not just with the end of the travel? No. Okay, here, hold that. My hands are filthy. What? What? You got dirt? Those, that's not fake dirt? You, it's oil. Where's your rag at? Jeez. I'm not lucky enough to have a ride in like you. Yeah, you should have used that one. That's the one you should have used. Okay, what'd you do to my lift? I screwed up my lift. Yeah, my, give me my tripod. You can't hold on to it. Just give me a tripod. See, I let somebody use my tools and look what happens. So 
Did someone use a lift before you? I don't know who did what. Now we gotta figure out what you broke. I was letting you use it, and you broke it. And you were trying to force it for some reason. What? It just got harder and harder, so I thought it was normal. Yeah. How's it got? Usually the reason why things happen. Threads don't look screwed up too bad. See the threads go on here and you get screwed up. Make sure you have pull the on them like they're supposed to. The screw's missed out the side. It's been missing for a while. This one's loose, so it'll fall out. That's how they usually do them anyway. Cable loop, that's what you use on your rack for lubrication. Work it back and forth, get a little worked into it. Figure out what you broke. Threads look all right, but something's not right. Easier again. Nice. So my guess is somebody has done a number to my threads down there. Probably from lack of lubricant or something. But they look all right. They look good, but there's something wrong. So we're gonna put some Travadine grease on it. This is a built-in application for Travadine. Oh yeah, this is what it was made for? Yeah, highly loaded items that have crap lubrication. Threads look alright, but they're obviously not. So we just put a little, a little bit of the good stuff on there. Five bucks a finger full, so that's ten bucks worth, right? Is it really that expensive? How much is the whole thing of it? Uh, that too, that was like 130 bucks or something. Jesus. Nice and more. Was that too much for your lift? 
Uh, you know what the lifts cost? How much do the lifts cost? This one here, probably about two fifty. Well, that's not too bad. So throwing ten bucks for the grease on it, you're okay with now? Throw it on the tub. Throw it on the tub? Yeah. Raise your bill. What? Raise up your bill a little bit more? Yeah, just, just like ten bucks. On top of thirty-five bucks, it's nothing. Yeah, big spender. Now we gotta work it in. I'm going the wrong way, dumbass. You teach us new <clears throat> thing here is gonna be mobile lift repair. See, everything on this thing's loose and falling apart. Don't be the maintenance around here. See, as I recall, it's all metric too. Yes. Okay, tighten that up. <clears throat> so you have to actually do a little maintenance on your stuff every now and then. No, I need two wrenches. You got another one? No. You want me to grab one? Probably why that doesn't work. You would think I have two sets of metric wrenches around here? It's because I never use metric. It's going to have two of them. It appears that these are tight. Yeah, that's tight. So those are tight. Tighten up this one here too. See this one, the other one disappeared a long time ago. I haven't replaced it yet. Okay, this is the tight area. See, I went through that tight area a little bit better now. Yeah, a lot better. Working back to you again. Tight spot right there. Went through it. Put some more trivet on it down there. Wherever it needs it. We know this is the bad spot right here. Stuff over here. Oh, look at all that extra tribodon way out there. Dirt there. Over here, too. That's wasting it. Over there. <clears throat> That's the tight spot right there. Through it. Okay. Let's see if you can make that work now. Crap. <clears throat> We're going to watch it screw it up. So you pull out the blocks. There. Keep going. Keep going. Front one's in the air. <clears throat> front one's in the air. Now the front tire's on the ground. Keep going. Keep going there. up. There. You get that look on it. Down until it quits moving. Slowly, right? As slow as you want. Keep going. Hold on, I'm going to push the bike. Pull the bike up. Pull the bike up. Pull the bike up. 
black and gray. Why is the black not dropping? I don't know. Well, it stopped, but that's what you hear. It's laying on its front tire. I mean, because it's meant for a heavier bike, it's just not going down. Shocks are pretty much too low. Well, these might be gas shocks. They drop it. There we go. What were you doing wrong? I don't know what you were doing wrong, but you were doing it wrong. I should not let go, right? If you like to fall over, you could. Okay. You want to fall over? I'd rather go ahead. Experience with this. See if you block it up, it won't fall over. See. All right. So now it looks bottomed out. Okay. What's it going to hit on when it's at full bottom? Anything? Okay. The chain got really tight. But it's not hitting the oil tank, which is nice. Yeah, it'll hit the corner there though. Maybe. Yeah, it's right on the edge of it. It'll probably just eat it up just barely. So why did the chain get longer or shorter? I guess. Hmm, it's weird. You usually get looser at these full travels. All right, try your fender. I Without think. anything, just like this? Well, you're supposed to have your belt on there for clearance. You want that one or you want the other one? Which one? How much clearance do you want? Is, is this one thinner? I use this one because it's thicker. I like that. See, these are rubber down here. They're going to collapse a little bit down under there. Okay, we're in the center of the tire. Go for it. You have to poke it into here. There you go. Okay, make this level here on the bottom. It's a sports defender, make it level. Not level. There you go, that looks level. Okay, you can slam it that much. What are we hitting on up front here? Okay, we're hitting uh, the circuit breaker is gonna be in the way and the bolts we're hitting. We're hitting on these bolt heads right now. That's what's keeping the fender from going forward is the bolt head. But we don't have to move the fender forward if we don't want to. That's up to you. Okay, so that's your full slammed look. Looks good. Just ride it like that? Yeah. It might be a little hard right there. Limited travel. Is the spring still loose? Y yes. That's loose? Okay. That might not be working very well then. No, I don't, I don't think that's how sp suspension's supposed to the work. The suspension's not quite up to snuff right now? <laughs> All right, so now you can mark the fender with a felt tip. You got one? No, I don't have one. Do you have one? Got one in your pocket? No. You didn't bring one with you? No. The hell do you you think? asking me every time I come by about random stuff. I should just bring everything I have with me. So where do I mark it? Just like on the bottom side here? I'd mark it on the top. It's easier to see. Okay. Why don't you slide the fender all the way over? Well, I can't because of the bolt head. Well, as far as you can. This is as far as it'll okay, go. Okay, don't, don't lift it up. Try to make it so it's on level with the strut. Why are you shaking so much? Damn you just have shaky hands. Yeah, you get shaky everything. Okay, get all the way to the front where it matters. What? Come on, all the way to the front where it matters. Like here? All the way to the curve. There you go. I do the back too. Same thing, all the way to the back. And then go around the back of the strut so I can see where it's at the back. So around the back of the strut, like yeah, here? Yeah, you're going to have to eyeball it. Like that, you mean? Yeah. Come underneath a little bit, too, if you want. we got to see where the strut's going to be. Yeah, that's about it. You want me to go under it, like the whole strut? If you want, I don't care. Just give you an idea where it's going to sit. 
Okay, you're pretty good at that spot? Yeah. Okay, get out of the way so I can see what it looks like. I can't see skit when I'm on the other side of the bike. Okay. So he likes a sports defender. Guess what? You got a sports defender on the bike. Yay. Okay, jack it up. Put the other shock on it. Let's go back up the road height, right height. Well, I have to jack it up first before I put the shock on there, right? What yeah. do you shock? Well, maybe. You can just collapse the other shock and bolt it on, maybe. Yeah, but I don't. Not strong enough? I don't think that. I, I jacked the bike up. It might be easier. Yeah. You want to hold the bike? Why? Does it need to be held? Is it falling over? I'm worried it will. Oh, okay. All right, you're probably close. What? Hang the shock up there, see how close it is. I got the bike. You do? Yeah. Got the washers, got to put the washers up there. Well, I'm just checking. No, we need the washers on there. You can't check it without the washers, the spacers. Top. Do you want to put the little washers on there? The little bastards in there. They were on the bottom only though. Okay, put your shock on there. Okay, you holding it? Yeah, I got it. It's a little bit more. Well, you have to go a little higher than that. Yeah. Yeah. You holding it? Yeah, I got it. What do you think, like that? I don't know. At some point it's going to fit. Getting close. <clears throat> done it. Yeah. There we go. Ah, I got a handlebar on the head too. Okay, put that on there. It's washer. Yeah, put that wrench down. And the nut. Wrench is over my side, but I don't need a wrench. That one's in. For some reason we got clearance. I think we were supposed to have this on there too. Yeah. We didn't, that's Oops. extra parts, we don't need it. Okay, where's the other aluminum spacer at? Uh, we're missing one. Did it go on the floor? I think so. Okay. Uh, Are you talking about this? Yeah, that'd be the one. Oh. Is that the one from the other side? Fun to do. Mm, which way does that go? It goes this way. And a nut. Is it kickstand done? Yeah. It might fall off though, it's not laying on the bike. It's just there sitting there for looks. Okay, we're not in there. up in here where it belongs. There it goes. Bit of a washer fill out I think in there. Appears to be going all the way. Yep, it's gonna make it. One more. There we go. Nope, don't lose that washer. He just shot the back over. All right. Now you can put the fender up on there. I'm not tightening it down or anything. Just why are you even screwing with that? Because you have to have it all back up again. Huh? Oh, you put the shock back on it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got the inside. You have to look at it. Yeah, just go down until it just touches. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to jack your fender back up. Oop. Space 
spacer. I think we have more stuff. It might not be, it's not as high as it was before, I don't think. Okay, I think we need a little more height. Yeah. It's like a half inch though, not much. Yeah, we'll, we'll go up a half inch, lift it up. That's one and a half inches, right? About? But I took the belt out. What? I took out the belt out. Look at that, it's almost perfect. Okay, so the fender has to go forward about a half inch. See, that's why you got that mark there, see? But it doesn't go because it's sitting on the bolts. Okay, that's fine. All right, so it's gonna sit at that height there, which is a little bit better than we thought it was gonna be. <clears throat> it doesn't look like a fucking dirt bike. It still looks like a dirt bike. You think so? Yeah. But you got a lot, you know, you got a lot of travel. You got to have room. It still might hit the fender because the uh, when that bump, that rubber bumper compresses a little bit, it might still might tag the inside of the fender up in there. But it's really rare that it would. But we gave it. Like that, but right? we got a half inch of belt, and these tires aren't supposed to grow very much at all. So. But it's really rare that you bottomed them out like that, anyways, right? Depends on how soft the suspension is and how you're driving it or riding it. You know, if you're out there motocrossing it, yeah, bottom out. Hit a big bump at about 100. That'll do it. Yeah, or, or drive off a darn uh, top of a, a bridge or something about 10 mile an hour, it'll bottom it out too. You don't have to be going fast to bottom if out. If I drive off a bridge at 10 miles an hour, it'll yeah. bottom out? Yeah, just like a dirt huh. bike does it. Huh. Just launch it. I'll avoid uh, it. <laughs> Just send it, yeah. All, uh, all I've seen on video they come out to the top of garages and houses with bikes. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can do so that. So you're saying I shouldn't do that with this? No, I wouldn't recommend doing that on this bike. Okay. You do it. But you said it. 10 miles an hour, maybe a 15 or 20, it's okay. Well, if or you launch, if you launch over the top of the house with a peak and land it, yeah, that work. You should be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking all right with that. Yeah. Mechanics recommendation, got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we we'll get some YouTube video. That'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. Good. Excellent. All yeah, right. It looks pretty good with so the two the, fenders there. Now, why don't you grab that ugly seat, or your custom seat over there and see if it fits. It looks to me like it's about a sportster tight uh, back on it. Are you going to take the screw out? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, yeah. it, might, it might actually fit on the bike better now. Yeah. Yeah, it's got about the right hump for a sportster right now, so. Should I take the tank off? Well, you might have to move it forward a little bit. I don't think it moves forward. Uh, you might take it off then. Yeah. What? Well, I just moved forward right there. What's wrong? I just put it on the floor and be safe. So I can step on the trip? Well, yeah, but you won't drop it off the workbench. It still doesn't fit to get out of the bracket in the front, it's a problem. Kind well, of looks weird, yeah. And the seat is not quite tall enough for that hump, but you can probably make it bend it and make it fit. I mean, we're not going to go with that seat, though. So I don't know what you're going to use for a seat. I was going to use a Mustang seat. Well, that's a little here. That's close. See the difference in hump between here and here? Yeah, that doesn't look like uh, it's supposed to do that. Yeah, so that might be, you might have to have an FX seat. So you might have to get a seat for a Big Twin instead of a Sportster now. You got one sitting around that we can try on? For a Big Twin? Yeah. I'd have to go find something. What's that one up there? There's a uh, seat up there. What's that piece of crap? That might be an FX seat. It's ugly enough to be. Can't grab it. You'd have to jump up there, not not just damage my panted parts. Yeah. Okay. That means you can't step on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to step on here. You can't step on my cover right here. You can step on your part too if you want, but not my part. Yeah, about like. The table wobbles, okay. though. Fair enough. You stay off my planet parts, you're okay. We're going to get this in video in case you fall down. We're going to have a contest to see if you can make it or not. Damn it, he made it. What is this? Flip it over, I can't tell. I need to see the front. It appears to be a Sportster seat. I'm gonna try it anyways. Okay, try it anyway. You know, you just grab junk seats around and you get what you find. 
Actually, that. I don't think that's right. Uh, it the almost, front doesn't look quite right. It, it sticks up like a dick dick, which is fine for you, so it'll be fine. <laughs> No, I'm, I, I don't. It. I don't see a problem with that at all. No. No, that's perfect. Is that a perfect fit? It, it's hitting right here, and it fits this. Yeah, that fits. We don't care about the dick in the front. That's that's cosmetic. It gives you a nice saddle to sit in, so you'll stay put. I bet your gas tank fits now. Where's your gas tank? See, we got a lot of clearance here for the gas tank. It gives you a place to stash your shit under here or your chemicals. Chemicals. <laughs> It don't scratch the tank. Oh, we got a problem. It doesn't fit now. The seat's in the way. Well, can you lift the seat up? Oh, you want me to work on the bike now? Yeah. I'll, I'll the camera operator. There, look. See, everything fits now. See the that seat? That looks perfect. It's like an FL turret. It, it, the seat goes up the gas tank halfway. Uh, there, that's that's perfect. Look at that. That thing's gorgeous, no? Yeah, you it really fixed it. You can't buy stuff at the Harley deal like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I think it's right up. I think it's perfect. You think so? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, the seat's gonna hold you right in there where you want to be. Your girlfriend's got a place for her big butt or small butt. The, uh, oh. So there you go. Uh, you like my camera stand? Uh, this camera looks go. great for camera. I think that's your bike. Right that's there. it. I think that's gonna That's do the it. one. I think that's gonna work. Oh my God. Look at that. Does anybody know what we're looking at? Oh, that's a T-bar. That seat does look comfortable, though. I can see the comments coming already about how it looks. There you go. The chain's loose again, too. Look at that. I can see it's moving. That's weird. The chain actually got tighter when I got... Well, that's because the swing arm's pointed downhill right now. That means we've got to move the darn wheel forward. It won't go forward anymore. Is there any more links in the chain? Yeah, have to put a longer chain on it. Who cut like that? one link. Who cut that chain? Damn it. Did you cut it? Yeah, well that'll make the that'll make the tire center better in a fender if you move it back another. Can we put just like another master link in there? Is that not a good one? Yeah, you put two master links with a short link in the middle, yeah. That's how you do it. There you go. I'm thinking that's what you want right there. Okay, it's all done. <laughs> Take it down the street. Way. Looks good to me. So, uh, first startup is the next video. <laughs> <laughs> need a little super glue in a couple plates, a couple bungee cords, we're good. <laughs> no yeah, duct tape though. You can't use duct tape on a Harley though. No. No, no duct tape. You gotta use plumber's tape. Not there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for tonight.